This seven star terror raid Pikachu event is now live in Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. We're back again today with some of the most consistent builds to allow you to solo this Pikachu to farm the item drops in your game. But before we get into the video, please subscribe to the channel. Remember, you can always unsubscribe later if you would like to. So we dropped two videos as the event went live, one detailing all of the information on the event den and giving some examples of some builds that you can take in and have success with in this den. And then we did a dedicated solo video as well, which featured Lorantis and an updated build for Meowskarada. Now in today's video, we're going to cover three more builds that are going to give you the most consistent results in your game if you're going in and trying to solo this raid event. The first one and probably the most reliable one out of the three is the Clod Sire. It is going to be the ground and poison type Pokemon and it has got the leftovers item just to give you a line of recovery when you're in the battle. Terra typing is going to be ground. It's important that you keep that immunity to electric when you do terrestrialize and the move set is going to be based around recover, gunk shot, earthquake and curse. Gunk shot can be changed out for something else if you would prefer, but we do have that water absorb ability that's going to give you the immunity to the surf. So you've got the two main immunities from electric and the water from the Pikachu. So you don't really need to worry about anything going into this match. We've got an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 attack with an adamant nature. The basic premise of this set is to curse up six times, recovering when you need to recover any health. And then once you are cursed up, start launching the earthquakes off onto the field and then when you can terrestrialize you're going to be able to do huge damage to the pikachu and pick up a knockout pretty easily now this is like i say probably one of the most consistent builds that you can take into solo it is a bit slower but it is a consistent one where you're going to be able to farm through these pikachus beat it pretty easily in your games and start farming the great item drops that this event gives us and as always it is level 100 it has been hyper trained so we have used bottle caps to max out its ivs and just as a side note as well curse is an egg move so to get the curse on your clod sire find curse on something in your boxes or have a look on Cerebi for things that have curse or learn curse in the game go catch that like a Gengar learns curse level up move it's an easy one to get then what you want to do is remove a move forget a move on your clod sire attach a mirror herb item and then set up a picnic with clod sire and whatever pokemon you've got with curse in your party and the move will then transfer onto the clod sire so it's as simple as that we have a whole video on the channel with egg transfer moves if you want to have a look at that i will link it up in the top right hand corner for you now but that is the clod sire and of course all these sets will be linked in the description if you want to take a closer look at them the next pokemon that we're going to feature is Wu Shen, and i think this pokemon is really good the only thing that you would need to watch out for against the pikachu is obviously the player rough but you should be bulky enough anyway with your ability that you've got here to take those play roughs pretty comfortably, especially after you utilize the knockoff, which is one of its main attacking options. We've got the grass terror type on it. We give it the item covert clock and we have a move set of sunny day growth knockoff and giga drain. Uh, we've got an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 special attack with the Tablets of Rune ability and a modest nature. So the basic premise of this set is turn one, you are going to want to knock off, get rid of that light ball on the Pikachu. That will reduce the damage that it can do to you. So you don't really need to worry. Turn two, you want to set up the sunny day and then go for your growths, get three growths off that should max out your special attack to plus six and then start using your giga drains until you can terrestrialize and again you're going to be boosted up when you do terrestrialize you're going to be doing big damage and recovering health at the same time and the cover clock just gives you immunity to any defense drops that you're going to potentially take from things like iron tail things like play rough that can lower your stats if they do have that secondary effect activated and also the paralysis from nuzzle will stop that as well as well as thunder if that does land even if it is 50 percent accurate in the sun so that is the Wu Shen, and again another really consistent build and it's something that every player will have access to pretty easily in their games so you can go out and get it it's not a version exclusive or anything like that so you'll be able to get this in your game and utilize it in these raid events again a level 100 hyper trained the iv so they're all 31 and this is Wu Shen. now the third build today that we're going to feature is probably my favorite one from everything that we've done and i really do 
do like it. It takes a little bit of work to get this build put together because you're going to need 50 grass terror shards, which can be a little time consuming, but definitely worth it. So we have give the God of War a grassy seed. We have obviously got the grass terror typing on it as well. We've got a move set of Sunny Day, Calm Mind, Knock Off and Energy Ball. We have the ability trace and an EV spread of 252 HP, 252 defense with a bold nature and the rest dumped in special defense. So the God of War again is going to be hyper trained. It is level 100. Grassy Seed as its held item and make sure it has that trace ability because that is the most important one. And for this set, rather than explain it, I'm going to go into the raid itself to show you how it works. Although there is a little bit of a caveat with this one, there is a little bit of setting up initially going into the raid before this actually starts. You're going to need to have a partnering Pokemon of Arbolivia so it can set up the grassy terrain for your grassy seed to activate. So this is the step that takes a little bit of time. If you come into the raid and you haven't got an Arbolivia with you, as one of your partnering Pokemon, you just run and then enter the raid again until you do get that Arbolivia as that partnering Pokemon because it is essential for the God of War to operate. Now here we haven't got the Arbolivia, so you can see the traceability activating though. So that Lightning Rod is something that we trace immediately as soon as we go into the battle. Gives us immunity to all those electric type attacks. So Pikachu doesn't have an option to hit us with those electric type attacks here. It will set up the rain and obviously a shield and hit us with a surf, but uh, we are going to just quit out of this and then come back into it. And hopefully this is the time that we get the Arbolivia. There we go. We got it. And we got an Intimidate user in Staraptor as well. So this is great. The Intimidate will affect the Pikachu before it's, its shield goes up. As you can see, our trace ability is so important here because the trace ability traces the lightning rod on the Pikachu, meaning that we've got a complete immunity to those electric type attacks. If Pikachu can't use thunder against us, if it does, it is good to just boost our special attack by one stage. So that is brilliant for us. So this is the perfect start here. We'll see the surf. It does come out. It's going to hit the guard of war. And yeah, you're going to think, oh, we, we take a big chunk of damage for that. And of course we do. Yeah. But the seed saw activates now, which is great. So this means our grassy seed activates and we get a defense boost on our God of War, meaning that the iron tails aren't gonna hit us for half as much damage, especially when that's stacked up with that intimidate from the initial star after when it came onto the field so going into turn one the first thing that we're going to want to do is we are going to want to go for the knockoff onto the pikachu now we will outspeed the pikachu and we'll be able to get the knockoff and remove that light ball reducing its damage down so it's only going to be hitting for 50 percent of what it was hitting for uh, we should take the surf just about and we'll heal a little bit of damage through the seed cell there so the next turn it is going to be close we're going to go for a sunny day we're going to get rid of the rain and take away those boosts even even more on the Pikachu, reducing the accuracy of the Thunder as well. But we do see an Iron Tail come out. But with that defense boost that we've got from the Grassy Seed and with the initial Intimidate, it means we're able to take that pretty comfortably. So we can heal Cheer here just to give ourselves a little bit of health back. And that sets us up to be in a great position to start trying to get to a point where we can Terrestrialize in this battle, because that is the main goal of this whole thing. You're going to want to try and Terrestrialize as soon as possible with your main Pokemon. The main aim of the game now is to try and terrestrialize so we're in a good position to start doing some damage to this Pikachu. But with the defense boosts that we've got, you can see the Pikachu without its light ball, it's not really doing any damage at all. So we're in a pretty nice position. Just keep an eye on the sunny day uh, for when that runs out so you can set it up again. So you're kind of just protecting yourself even further. And then if you can slot in and you are in a better healthy position, then you can get some calm minds onto the field. So you can just keep an eye on the sunny days by just clicking into this screen. And you can see here, if we move the camera, we've got one turn of sunny day left. So after this one, we will try and get another sunny day up, but we might be in a position where we are able to terrestrialize after this energy ball as well. We'll see how things go. Yep, so we're in a great position to go for the terrestrialization now. We can go for that and we can set up a sunny day at the same time as well. So that'll be a big boost for us. Obviously, we are only plus one at the minute. So it might be a good idea to go for the, the heel cheer and um, put yourself in a better position 
health wise and then start going for a couple of car mines before you start doing damage or you can just start attacking if you are just wanting to just plow through the pikachu so we can start attacking now now we are terrestrialized and see how much damage we do we're only plus one so we're probably not going to be able to do too much damage at the moment so we want to try and concentrate down a bit more on trying to get our car mines but you can see even the iron tails here that defense drop isn't ideal for us at all but their iron tails aren't doing too much damage at all so we can try and get a couple of car mines up before we start doing major damage and you can see by the timer as well we've got plenty of time left on our red clock okay so we're plus three at the minute let's see what an energy ball does now we should be doing a bit more damage yeah, that's more like it. So we can just start attacking now with God One. We're getting those special defense drops as well, which is huge for us. Uh, another surf coming out, but because the sun's up, we're in a decent position just to take this pretty comfortably, especially with those calm mines kind of boosting our special defense up as well. And there we go. We can see the lightning rod activating as the Pikachu does use that thunder. So the traceability really nice here. And actually, God of War is the only Pokemon in the game, the fully evolved Pokemon anyway, that gets access to trace in Scarlet and Violet. So there we go. We see the last. Oh, we've got one more and we get nice there an Iron Tail miss. So we're very close to taking it out. And we'll see one more surf come out. But with those calm mind boosts, we're sitting in a pretty comfortable position. You can see because the Orb Olivia as well as restoring our health every turn, it does make this raid a lot more manageable with God of War. But that is how you can beat this raid then with having a little bit of fun with a bit more of an innovative set that I kind of came up with. And hopefully if you do use it, it does give you a little bit of fun if you use it over the weekend and something I think that can be quite fun. The only thing I would say is it's a bit more fun than usual because you've got to have the Arb Olivia to come into the raid with to really make use of it. Now you could go with Covert Cloak, but you're not going to get the defense boost, of course. Um, so the Arb Olivia and having that going into the raid does make it a little bit more work than using something like the Claude Sire or the Wu Shen that we've already covered in this guide. But if you would like to use something else and maybe it got of what is your favorite pokemon i don't know it might be something fun to use and like i say it's just an example of how you can look through the pokedex and kind of have a look at move options and things like that to kind of create a set that can work for you in the raid event like i say the trace is imperative for copying that lightning rod making you immune so you're not even worrying about any of the electric type attacks grassy seed you need the Olivia. that is the only drawback with this setup of course because you're going to need that seed sorrow ability to get the grassy terrain to get the defense boost and then from there you're going to set the sunny day up get the knockoff off get rid of the light ball and then calm mind and then energy ball and just get rid of the pikachu that way so they are the three builds that we're covering in today's video they were just additional ones that i wanted to cover because i feel like adding the more consistent builds like the cloud side the Wu Shen, and then throwing in the fun build like the god of war gives you really good options going into this raid to make it a lot easier to farm these items because the item drops for this pikachu are pretty good and getting water terror shards in particular as as well as those level up candies it's a really nice event for doing that on top of all of the other high cost items that you're going to be able to get from beating the pikachu over and over and over again in your game so if you want more details on the event itself check out the videos we've already got on the channel or some alternative builds like the lorantis which i still stand by and think it's a really great build but obviously we have covered it already so i'm not going to include it in today's video if you found today's video useful please drop a like and do subscribe to the channel for more pokemon scarlet and violet content thank Thank you so much for tuning in friends have a great rest of your day and i will catch you all in another video very soon so until then take care of yourselves and bye bye